hey, 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 what the heck? What the heck? Sorry, guys. My name is Sikhes Kosana, and this is Close Up Education. Mm. You should already know by now that you should be calling me Usem Numzan. And yes, I've heard your cry. You are saying June exam is already behind you, and Sam Numzane seems to be doing nothing about that. All right. I'm here to change the situation. How? From today, we'll be doing question papers. And our first question paper, it is our Maths Lit Paper 1. We'll be doing question 1, which is for 32 marks. This is where you collect your free marks. Question 1, free 32 marks or 30 marks. Okay, question 1. Before you could answer any question 1 questions, we have to read to understand our question 1 scenario. Alright, what does it say? It says Vetti runs a small business from home. She makes and also sells lunch packs for learners and delivers them to school during their lunch break. It is a straightforward situation. Right. We know that there is less time on exam, but then you have to scan whatever diagram you are given or scenario you are given to understand it a little more better. Now we know that this table consists of three columns. It consists of the items. We see the items that are making this lunch pack possible. And our second column now speaks about the cost amount which she will have to use when she's buying these items in but then the last bracket tells us the cost of each item, not in bulk, but then each item. Now that we understand the whole scenario, we can obviously move to our question 1.1.1. All right, 1.1.1 said determine how the cost of one yogurt was calculated. Very easy. The question simply wants to understand how did they find that one yogurt equals to 183 cents. We know that a six pack of yogurt equals to 10 rand 99, right? So we know that 1.1.1, the cost of six yogurt equals to 10 rand comma 99. So a six yogurt, it is a pack of yogurt. So we are going to divide it by six so we can find out how much each yogurt cost and our answer would be none other than one run comma 83 so this was how the cost of one yogurt was calculated okay let's move to question 1.1.2 the question simply wants to understand what is the maximum number of apples found per bag all right because of we've already established and understand our scenario this question is going to be easy because of we understand that a pack of apple cost 22 rents comma 99 and a single apple cost 2 rents comma 87 all right let's do it now now it's say 1.1.2 number of apples right we know the total cost per bag it is our nicest 22 rents comma 99 cents then we are going to divide this by the cost per apple which is our nicest 2 rand comma 87 and our apples are 8 apples Per bag. The question 1.1.3. The question says determine how the total cost per lunch pack was calculated if it's found to be 18 rand comma 36 cents. It is our obvious answer. We just add the amount found from the last column because of it speaks per item. So we are obviously going to say 1.1.3 total cost. I'm not going to be writing the whole number. So I'm just going to be doing the magician stuff. All right, now that I've written the amount from from the third column, this will obviously give us the total cost, which is 18 rands comma 36. So this is how they found the total cost. All right, let's move to question 1.1.4. The question simply wants to know what is the selling price per lunch pack if the profit made is 16 rand comma 64 cents. Before we answer that, we look at our marks, how much are we getting? Two marks, meaning the answer is to be simple. So we are writing 1.1.4 and saying selling price equals to our total cost, which is 18 rands, comma 36 cents, plus our total profit, which is 16 rands, comma 64 cents. And we are getting our selling price, which is 35 Rents. You might ask yourself, why so easy? You might obviously try to confirm if the answer is right by doing this. Saying 35 minus the total cost, which is 18 rands, comma, 36 cents equals to, it has to give us the profit, which is 
16 rands, 64 cents. All right, now we know that the answer, it is definitely correct. All right, let's move to question 1.1.5. The question simply says, what does profit mean? All right, that is going to be your homework. You have to think about that for your free mind. Let's move to question 1.1.6. The question says, write down as a simplified ratio, the bulk price of a 100% fruit juice to a bulk price of sweets. To answer this question, you have to watch the video I dropped before this one, which is about ratios. All right, let's move to this question. It says, uh, where are we writing now? Let me magically wipe this thing off. All right, we say 1.1.6, right? And we write ratio. What did they say? They say the bulk of 100% fruit juice price, which is our obvious 135 to a bulk of sweet price, which is 285 rands over. All right, what is the number that has to go under here? We have to use our calculator and also watch the video I dropped before the swap. And the amount it is going to be five and five. And what are we getting? 27 is to 17. Now, this is the answer. Okay, how did I find five? I simply watched the video I dropped before this one. And what did I do also? I divided this 85 by two, then I moved and divided by three, and then by four, until I found a whole number, which is in a simplified form, which was 17. Then what I do on the right, I have to do on the left. Okay, let's move to question 1.2. The scenario of 1.2 said Fiveti has three bread and bread roll options to choose from in her lunch pack. So there is a white bread which is represented by capital letter W. There's the brown bread which is represented by the capital letter B. And there is the bread roll which is represented by the capital letter R. And these bread can be either toasted which is represented by the capital letter T or not toasted, which is represented by the capital letter N. All right, before we answer 1.1.2, we have to look at our diagram or scenario. Understand it, feel it. All right, let's continue. Our question for 1.1.2 says, what is the name of that diagram? All right, we all know the name of that diagram, right? Everyone? To tree choose? diagram. Yes, yeah. tree diagram. That is called the tree diagram. All right, 1.2.2, easy answers. Determine the missing value of letter A and letter B. What is the missing value? 1.2.2, it is A. We know that A, there are three bread and bread rolls to choose from. We were given the white and the bread roll, meaning the brown bread is the one left to be written down. Right? What about B? And as for B, we know that it is between the bread rolls. And the choice is that that bread roll has to be toasted. So that is our toasted bread roll. Yes, RT. All right, let's move to question 1.2.3. The question says, what is the number of outcomes that will be found on that tree diagram? We know very well that the outcomes are found on the last row when we are looking at a tree diagram. So we are going to count those WT, WN, right, until the end. And that is going to give us 1.2.3. And that is six outcomes. This is your two marks, right, guys? We don't understand how nice question one is. Okay, let's move to question 1.4. Question 1.4 simply says, calculate the total number of toasted bread outcomes. It is very easy because of we've already found our total number of outcomes. So we are going to say 1.2.4 total number which is equals to 6 divided by 2. And what are we finding? 3. So there will be 3 bread that is toasted. All right, let's move to question 1.3. Let's finish our 32 marks. Subscribe, like the video because of we are moving. Hey. Okay, what does our scenario say? It says a company recorded the cell phones sold between their two stores, the store A and store B. Remember, when you are answering any data handling question, you have to rearrange the numbers given from the smallest 
till the biggest remember that you don't answer any question before rearranging the numbers all right i'm not going to be rearranging the numbers with you guys that is your homework let's move to 1.3.1 1.3.1 simply says what is the name of the diagram we know the name of the diagram everyone knows the name of the diagram it is called the box and whisker plot diagram okay what about question 1.3.2 it simply says what does iqr stands for it obviously stands for eta quartal range all right guys and the following questions you have to answer them on your own just to see if your brain is taking something from sam numzad please like my channel like the video subscribe if you haven't because of we are moving to question number two which is also the hardest nyana and the nicest yes make sure you do the homework because of it will brighten my day so as your future okay